Hey, how's it going? I'm John Bean, and I'm here to compare the vintage Mark VI to some modern horns that uh, Virtuosity Music is selling these days. There are a lot of people out there that, you know, there's a debate as to which horns are, quote, better, right? And again, I guess I'm saying air quotes around better because uh, it's more about what you prefer. But this right here is my main uh, saxophone. It is a Mark VI from 1955. The serial number is... 60,000. Yeah, so it's an early, early one. Uh, second year of Mark VI's production. Also, the mouthpiece that I play, uh, this is my main mouthpiece. This is a Ted Klum Florida model, uh, hard rubber. It is an eight star. And I'll be using the same mouthpiece and the same reed on every saxophone so you can really hear the difference in the tone. The reeds are select jazz, uh, three hard on files. Um, this one's pretty worn in. Um, and then the ligature I'm using as well is a Boston Sax Shop um, superlative ligature. All right, so let's do I'm just gonna play a little bit uh, with my horn, and then we're gonna try a few of the newer horns that we have here at Virtuosity. <laughs> So this is the uh, Summer Series 3, uh, brand new, I believe. Yeah, I think it's brand new. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. This, Yeah, the serial number on this is what, 825,000? That's pretty crazy to, to know how many saxophones were made versus my 60,000 to this 825,000. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, this one plays really well. This one plays really well. It's It seems pretty close to a Mark VI. Not exactly, but pretty close. All right, so now we have the Selmer Reference 36, and I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but these are modeled after the, the balanced actions and super balanced actions from that era. Uh, we'll see how this compares. This one feels pretty close too. Again, not exactly like my Mark VI, but but pretty close. So next we have the reference 54. Um, this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure um, that this is supposed to be a basically an essential, essentially a remake of the Mark VI. Um, I remember when these came out when I was in college, and they were all the rage. So I'm excited to try this. This one has a brushed finish, which I might be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure Summer was the first saxophone company to make this finish. Now there's a lot of saxophone companies making a similar finish, but it's kind of a cool look.
This one feels good. Um, what I like about this one is the the action feel. I can play. I feel like I can play quicker and cleaner on this than the previous two summers. So far, in terms of the sound, I feel like the the series three is my favorite out of the three so far. But I mean, what what do you think? The sound feels a little bit less free on this one. But still, I mean, this is it. I think it's. You can compare this to a Mark VI for sure. Um, I don't know. I, I like all these so far. There's not, I can't really say anything I don't like about these yet. So this is a Ramponi Kazani Two Voices. Um, it's a really cool looking saxophone. As you can see, um, it's modeled after the King Silver Sonic. You got this solid silver neck and bell with the um, bare brass body. This is a really cool looking horn. Um, there's actually a full mural in here, and um, there's two bell towers in the town that this is uh, named after, and the shop that makes these horns is located between these two bell towers, which I think is pretty cool. This is a really, really nice looking saxophone. Yeah, this is a really nice saxophone as well. Very free blowing, um, very resonant. I'm not quite used to it as you can hear. Yeah, this is a great this is a great comparison to a vintage vintage horn. All of these so far have been. I can't really tell you what my favorite is yet. All right, and um, is this the last one? Last one. Okay, last but not least is the, the Yamaha Custom Z. I've played these before. I've never owned one, but I've tried them and I love them. Um, this is, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this horn screams, it's awesome. Um, these horns all, I mean, I feel like all of them that I've played so far have been pretty close to the Mark VI. None of them quite capture to me. But again, you could, you tell us, what do you think? Like, leave comments, you know, come by the shop, talk to these guys, let them know what you think. Um, to me, these modern instruments these days, compared to when I was growing up, are a lot closer to the vintage sound then. They used to used to be, at least in my experience, like 20 or so years ago when I was trying a bunch of these horns out, it was a stark difference. Now there still is a difference. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like the vintage sound to me, um, it's hard to beat it. But these, all of these horns get a lot closer. It's hard to pick what I think is my favorite. I think the one that might feel the best is the Ramponi, which I've never played one of those in my life, so I'm pretty surprised. But they're all so, so, so close. What I do love about all these horns is that none of them feel stuffy. The upper range on all these instruments really, really, really opens up. I think the price points are pretty wildly different. For how wildly different they are, I would, I might say that the best bang for your buck option in terms of how great these are, the Custom Z is probably the, um, in, the, the lowest cost of all of them, and the, the differences are so slight, it's hard to say spend four or five extra grand for that slight, slight difference. I love this one. I think that um, in terms of a mid-price, I mean, I hate to say budget, but for a professional instrument that you have a budget for and you can't quite afford a vintage horn or one of these $10,000 modern horns, the Custom Z is probably what's up. That's just my opinion though. These all sound great, they all play great. They're all set up beautifully by um, the tech here at Virtuosity Instruments, and yeah. Come on down to the shop and see for yourself. Uh, Virtuosity Instruments is right across from Symphony Hall um, on the corner of Mass Ave and 
Huntington. That's right. Okay, well, should, should I just start playing now? We'll get some yeah. the tasty bits after the donuts. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Not exactly, but pretty close. Oh, I'm supposed to look over there. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I, I can have it on this camera. All right. Good.